continue with the second part of the tutorial lofting with the 3D Ultimate Com. This is the part in I set up all the shapes using a line and circle and star to modeling a screwdriver. I'm gonna change the name for each one of the shapes. Right now I'm doing this. This is my pad, the line it will be my pad. I'm checking this the from the bottom is the zero percent for the for the walk. Remember I talked before like uh, the pad is the the walking let's say a walking street when the shape coming walk around or through through the shape because because it's you, it, it's not just a line you can place a, a elix or you can place an arc to walk around but this time we, we're gonna walk through We're gonna get button primitives and compose objects and loft. And using right now the path parameters. So you, you, I'm checking right now the zero percent for the for the path. So I'm gonna select my rectangle and click my path using get path button. The result for this is a simple box. That's a mesh box. So, but we're gonna change this using the next shapes. I'm gonna show the gizmo from the loft. You have shapes you and push. You're gonna see right now what happened when you can use the gizmo shape or push. Excellent. So I change my changing my view for lit wireframe. I'm going to change this using in my path parameters 30% to see what happened. Oops, sorry for a bust. So the next shape is using my circle, clicking get shape. Um, and right now I'm going to save on my circle, my next shape, walk. Starting 30% from the path. So you, you see the paddle and the cylinder for my my screwdriver. So the next thing, this is an example to create a screwdriver using Lofton. Okay, in this part, I'm going to 
teaching you how to manage the kids tool and this time I'm gonna select my options shape and you see my shape was was created my next part of the mesh of a screwdriver was the circle and creating a cylinder and you can select this shape from the gizmo shape and you can scale, move or rotate this part to adjust the silhouette of the, the shape for the model. Uh, now the next part it will be the, the star. So you have one thing in your mind. What happened here? I can't see any screwdriver here. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you all the tools um, other tools from last time that tool is going to call it the formations so you have the basic shape you have the rectangle and the circle and the star so I'm going to add another shape. To create it in the top for uh, for the screwdriver. Okay, so let's let's talk about the deformation part of the lofting. Excellent. You want, if you want to fix this mesh, you can because you you right now you don't you didn't you don't see any screwdriver. You said George, what happened here? You don't see I don't see any screwdriver. But let me show you using deformation. You can have any shape using deformation after the lofting so you have a, a graph using from 0, 50 and 100 this is the percent of the pad so you can see right now in real time the deformation using the scale you can add more points basic curves point to refine the, the shape of, of, about the, the mesh So you see right now the, the result using the graph. So you have the top the zero and the x axis from zero to the one hundred and the y axis zero to ninety nine percent. And here and adding more point. So basic is a point to create the paddle for my screwdriver. And I'm gonna add more point to have the exactly shape you need for a screwdriver. Point just refine my silhouette.
Mm. Okay. Less. See? Yeah. Doesn't look on Spurs there, but they also got the fix this. So, when that check I do, use the little bio frames and see through the shapes corresponding from, from, from the lo loft. And adding more more circles. And this part I'm gonna fix this circle again using a scale. By now so the bag Selling. See what? See, I'm changing my scale. I'm having a nice, nice result. Next part. See? Right now, you, you see all the shapes. All the shapes. Modeling. The screwdriver. So we have four circles, a star, and a rectangle. Just adjusting the scale. The result, the final result for this nice screwdriver. So, this is a nice little tutorial using Loft. Just thanks for watching and sorry, sorry for a long time to upload a new video. So, see you next time.